We come to the last movie in the 18, the 18 form Qigong sequence. It's called Pressing Palms to Calm the Qi, or just basically called in a lot of forms Tai Chi Closure. It's just a closing part of the form, generally down to the Dan Tien, two inches below the navel and two inches in, or Swadhisthana, or the pelvic floor, whatever you like to call that. Um, it's just a closing form, but I've stuck three forms together. So this is the end of the 18 form Qigong sequence added on to the first eight brocades, so it's 26, and I've got another nine. So it's basically 26 of the whole 35, the three forms together. Doesn't matter, I've stuck it in brackets, 35 and the number it is. You can do this in sequence, or you can do these set, set you can do these singly, see what suits you. Um, gonna be briefer on this one. It's more the breathing, not too much the movement with these. Uh, a bit of a mixture, not like traditional style, um, generally believed to help the kidneys and the pericardium, this one. Again, it varies in the 40,000 or different forms. But um, this one, we're gonna go down the Pilates path, the yogic path of this, and the hypnotic path. So with this, we're gonna start straight with the breathing. It's a nice, simple motion where you just close down. But we're gonna, we're gonna do it a little bit different because it's still within the form. We're not really closing a whole lot. So. Let's just go with the breathing and start off with. So we're gonna zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals in a traditional Pilates manner, which is gonna help us breathe into these fish gills, 3D style, these lower lobes of the lungs, as if you've got a sort of scarf tightly around your ribs and you're breathing in that scarf wide and full. So as you do that right now, breathing through the nose, exhale through pursed lips, as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, you can be safe in the knowledge that the breath's going into these lower lobes of the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach, because there's nowhere else for the breath to go, apart from into these lower lobes of the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. If you want to convince yourself of that, you can do a little workshoppy type thing here. You can get the two middle fingers touching underneath the breast bones, palms on the lower lobes of the lungs, just so you can see where the breath is going into them lower lobes of the lungs as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, breathing through the nose and exhaling through the nose, keeping the shoulders down, you'll feel this going on, even just a little bit, a micro move or a lot, these middle fingers slightly parting and coming back to touch each other, just adding width to the lungs and length to the out breath, that lovely free expansive breath. Okay, you take the hands away, safe in the knowledge that's going into them lower lobes of lungs. It's what we call lateral thoracic breathing, which helps us use the pelvic floor and the corset in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button, helping us breathe into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Lovely, and as you breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips, as if you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips. That's gonna help us use the pelvic floor and the corset muscle, the transversus dominus, the corset muscle, three layers deep. By tucking the belly button, zipping up pelvic floor. That helps us use them muscles in the most efficient manner helping us not breathe there, but breathe into these lower lobes of the lungs, because there's nowhere else the breath to go, apart from into them lower lobes of the lungs. Now, if you want to close the mouth, and breathing it out through the nose, we go down slightly more of a yogic path in a manner, one of the yogic styles of breathing, breathing it out through the nose, that smaller filter for the nose is slightly more filtering breath now, but you're still, Zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, taking the navel towards the spine. And that's gonna help us breathe in a more filtered fashion. That will lengthen the whole wheel cycle of the breath through that smaller filter for the nose. That slightly more yogic breath. Okay, now if you wanna take your mind to that out breath, and it's, that'll naturally feel as it wants to fall longer than the in breath, Take your mind consciously to that out breath and do that. Lengthen the out breath longer than the in breath. 
quadruplet, doublet, triplet, wherever you like the out breath, make it longer than the in breath. Okay, and that will encourage the housekeeping properties and benefits of the body. All the things you don't think about, renewal, health, that state of well-being, sleep, digestion, rest and relaxation, are all being benefited. Even organ function, cellular communication are benefited by simply elongating the out breath longer than the in breath and allowing that simplicity just to relax the mind at will. Lovely. Now you can stay with that or you can take it onto Ujjayi breath, victorious breath, a slightly more advanced yogic breath because we've lengthened the out breath longer than the in breath in a sort of more hypnotic manner, okay? and benefit in that parasympathetic nervous system. That breath's fine, but if you wanna make it more advanced, if you can't get this, don't worry. Carry on breathing as we are. Otherwise, we grip at the esophagus. And it makes this sound. A soft, sweet, sighing, silky sound from the back of the throat. Nearly sort of Darth Vader breath in a way. It's like a keeping the shoulders down. That will give the mind something to focus on when the form. Ujjal breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. Help us give the mind something to focus on within the breath. Help us build the heat in the body. Help us fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. Ujjal breath, victorious breath. Lovely, if you can't get it, don't worry. Just carry on breathing into them lower lobes of lungs. You zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals in and out through the nose. Otherwise you get the Ujjayi breath, it's breathing in. And exhaling. Lovely, now in a breath synchronized motion manner, vinyasa in Sanskrit, breath synchronized motion. We're gonna link that to the motion, okay? We're slightly changing it because we're not properly closing this form, even though it's closing the 18 form Qigong sequence. Okay, now again, we're gonna breathe in, it's just a real basic move, and you're gonna exhale down, generally to the Dantian, that's how the closure part goes. But again, we're gonna just soften the knees, feet slightly wider than hip of the part. We're gonna breathe in, be sharper here, and exhale down. Now you can come on the toes and exhale down. Come down on the heels and carry on that exhale. And you breathe in, come up, you can even bounce. This creates a little bit of micro movements in the body, add some instability to the pelvic floor and the corset, so you can zip up, scoop out your abdominals. And again, obviously in the chi style, it shakes up sediment within the body, a lot of the uh, Qigong sequences, it does that, and shakes up the sediment in the body, like the energy in the body, the chi, like sediment in the body. So it just disperses that chi. But again, you don't have to know that, you're gonna breathe in. All that lymph drainage from the hands, draining down towards the heart, and you exhale down for a little bit longer. If you want to come up on the toes, you can do, or come down on the heels. When you do want to come down on the heels, you can do. And again, just helps that bone density, a little bit of this impact on the bones. Zipping up, scooping out abdominals against that instability, that throws on the corset, exhaling down. Breathing, coming up, shaking. All that lymph drainage down and towards the heart, exhaling down for longer. If your heels touch the ground further, you can go deeper. I'll go no deeper than knees and lumbar toes or less. I'm bringing them Iyengar principles in, not going down deeper than knees and lumbar toes. That's optional to you. Okay, Iyengar yoga principles there. But again, gathering, zip up and hollow. And again, we're gonna open up the next move, the Himalayan uh, nine form I learned there, so you're gonna add that onto the end of this, okay? But uh, that was the last in the 18 form Qigong sequence, which is added on to the eight brocades, 26 of the whole 35, bang.